Hi, this is Richard Black. And today I have a video for you that's going to kind of explain how to make patterns for anything you're going to be making in leather. It's important to make a pattern so you can kind of see how it's going to look, how it's going to wrap around an item, how it's going to, um, the overall look of it. it gives you an idea. If you can see it, you can make it. So what I'm going to show you today in this video is how to turn this simple file file folder into a workable pattern. This is going to be for a uh, pistol I made and the end result is going to be a beautiful leather holster project, uh, whether it be a wallet, a purse, anything. This is how we're going to start the program. Okay, here we are at the workbench and let's get started on making our pattern. Uh, what we'll need to begin with is a file folder. Uh, you could just get a poster board the same way, but these are already creased and these are pretty inexpensive to go by. So let's open it up. And what we're going to do is make in a pattern for a Mark Luger, Ruger, Mark III 2245. Let me show you that it's empty. There's no clip in it. Chamber is empty. And I want to show you the construction of it. I want the leather to go underneath the rear sight. I have an open bottom. And I have a strap on the side. Actually, it's um, almost a quick draw angle on here. And I made a special attachment for it that we won't be making today, but I will make a strap that your belt will go through that is also sewn on here. And what we then also have then is a latch just for holding the pistol in. So let's see, we have one, two, three parts to this holster. What I'd like to do is open up your file folder and lay the pistol, whatever you're gonna be working with, kind of straight up and down and on the fold. And if you're right-handed, I want you to roll the gun to the right. If you're left-handed, roll the pistol to your left, okay? So for this, we're gonna do a right-handed, and what we're gonna do is uh, trace out the pistol. And then I keep these for my records. So in the future, if I ever need one, I already have the pattern for a Ruger mark two, three. What I'd like you to do now is just kind of sketch around your design here about three quarters to an inch around it. You can always trim off. It's hard to trim or put leather back on when you're sewing. So looks like I kind of start here. And don't worry about your straight lines drawing. Not off the bat anyway. Okay, from here I want to decide, remember I said I want the um, leather to go under the, uh, the, rear, the rear sights, so what I'd like to do is just kind of round this off then. Let's go ahead and I'll cut this out. A lot of times I just turn the paper when I'm cutting instead of me turning the knife. Keep yourself some nice rounded turns. Now I'll cut this off at the fold. Okay, there we go. Let's try it 
trace this over to the other side. Just cut along the paper line that you drew. Okay, here's our pattern. That's our rough beginning. Let's lay the pistol in here. See there, I have enough fold going around, which is good. You can always trim off, like I said. Let's look at that. All right. There's another piece I want to do here, and that'll be our strap that goes from the front to the back. And usually I'll make my straps about one inch. So let me go ahead and Cut a one inch piece off of here. Okay. This is going to be sitting. This is the outside. This is for a right. And so our strap is going to connect on this side and come over to this side. Okay. Okay, again, here's our belt. And this is going to be going over it. So if I add enough for a fold there, as you can see. So even if I go up to a two inch belt. So I'm going to fold this over and let's say I'm going to go to here. Let's look at our pieces we've made here. Well, let's judge that again. So that's good. Your belt will slip through there. We have our main body. On the back side, we're going to have put our belt loop on and then we're going to angle it depending on how you'd like to see it right on your hip whether it be a straight up and down your belt loop would go like this or a slight angle back more of an angle back as you can see how I have to sew on this then to an extreme angle and also works vice versa we have that and we also have our strap Good. Again on the back, we have our belt loop. Here's our three pieces. And here is the finished product. I sewed it together. You could also use lacing techniques to lace it together. Put the snaps on. A lot of variations you can do once you start making your first one and you can start adding embellishments to your holsters or projects. It's like this one I did here. I, I did it the old fashioned western way where your belt would go through here. There's a loop to hold it in. It has a back plate. And I embellished it with some rhinestones just to make it look nice. Same design. I just made it a little different as you can see. But all through the original pattern that I made. So, hope you enjoyed the video. This is Richard Black and happy leathering.